It's Last question before thing. I get out of here, right? With that shit. Is this going to turn into the Cold War that we've seen between 50 Cent and Ja Rule? <laughs> where it's like, no matter the moment, <laughs> no matter where I am, I always got a diss ready for you. <laughs> or that energy is always going to be the same. I'm asking because we did see Nas and Jay-Z piece Patch it up. up yeah. Right? We've seen that. Do we think they take the Jay-Z and Nas route uh, for years from now? Or do they? Is it 50 Cent and Ja? I don't know what I want more <laughs> because look at how the amazing things that we have witnessed within this year because of them actually going at each other and not liking each other. Yeah. So that births a lot of great things as well. But I will say, oh my God, big surprise. I'm going to pick the peaceful route and then <laughs> them pa- piecing it up. I want that because I hate seeing Drake like this. Yeah. I don't like it because I, I love Drake. Like I really, I'm like, guys, he's, Let's not forget that he's really him. Yeah. Like, let's not forget how many like hits he's given us. So I just want him to stop. Like, I want to stop seeing him in this light. <laughs> like, I, please, Kendrick, just forgive him. I'm sorry. You like, can't tell a nigga you hate the bitches he fucking and peace with them. <laughs> you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> call him a certified pedophile. You can't forget. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to think about it. Now. Like, I'm starting to think about it now. Yeah. Now I say you had dick sucking lips. <laughs> yeah. No, there's one pretty bad. Was, no, there's one crazy. Really and then, then whole said I fucked your BM in the back seat. It's, it's a little crazy. A and they Cash it up. They did. But Anything no, is possible. Okay. Nobody was in the club talking about he trying to fuck a minor. minor. Yeah, that's like that that is piecing it up different. after that. That's different. Oh. You say you hate the way that I walk, the way that I talk, the way that I dress. Nah, nigga. You guys don't think they will ever piece it up? I honestly, I think they can. Nah. I, I think they can. And I think it's and I think it has mm-hmm. everything to do with Kendrick. For the last few years, oh, yeah. we've seen interviews of Drake saying that he wanted to. Not necessarily maybe piece it or maybe he was just past whatever riff the two of them had and he didn't believe that there was a real issue, right? I could definitely like see nah. Kendrick on some like uh uh-huh. like no. I, I know a nigga that <laughs> got hate in his heart. Kendrick, right? <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah. That's what I'm that. saying. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Because Kendrick clearly he could hold a grudge. Yeah, so he'll he hold it for like thirty years, and they years. just don't stand for the same thing. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, yeah. And once you exactly. get They're exposed aligned. for not having. You know, alignment, that's a perfect word. Yeah. Any type of alignment and what you stand for as a person, as a man, your character, like, it's no reconciliation yeah. because we don't even go about life or mm. see life in the same way. Like, Meet the Graham should tell you everything. I know we haven't really talked about that song in particular, but if you listen to that song alone, mm-hmm. it says there is no room for me and you being anything. Right. He talked about him being a, a horrible fucking person. <laughs> he talked to his mother that and father crazy. on a diss track. So they continue said, with when you, fought, when you turn 18, come holler at me, Adonis. Let me <laughs> yeah. sit you down and talk to you about your sicko ass fuck. Like, yeah. this is, no, I don't see it being reconciled right. in, in any way. So no. they just continue with tradition with 50 Cent and Ja, right? I, Not in terms of talent, of course, but just in terms of the energy towards each other. Like 50 I'm and Ja, they talk like they like the beef just happened yesterday. I love it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I live for this shit. But that was almost twenty years that's ago. That's more on fifty though, because I feel like if it were, oh, if it were definitely. up to Ja Rule, yeah. he would be like Drake and want to patch it up and be like, "Please leave me alone." Right. Uh, you know, for me, it's different because as successful and as big as Ja Rule is and was, and the impact that he's had, like Fifty Cent was just so massive. Yeah. That he didn't have any peers at that time. Kendrick and Drake are a lot closer to being peers than Ja Rule and 50. And again, yeah, it's not, not to know, take yeah. anything away from Ja Rule, but 50 Cent is literally one of one in hip hop. He's one of one. So <laughs> he doesn't have, the, yeah. the, they aren't peers in that way. <laughs> Especially so, when we found out, not to cut you over, I'm sorry. Okay. Especially when we found out that first person shooter, wait, Y'all wanted Kendrick Lamar on there? Yeah. So that means there was a means of some sort of reconciliation. Like, they were like, let's hug. Yeah, that was already there. That's obviously was stepped on now. Oh, my God. Can we... <laughs> when Ja Rule was like, are you ready? Are you ready? And the Bucks lost every game going forward after that. <laughs> that was cricket. <laughs> Nobody said anything. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. I love title. that video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah I, I don't yeah. I don't know, because I don't think it's gonna be smoked like that. Right. Because neither one of them can be a quote unquote punching bag the way that Ja Rule deems to be a punching bag for 50 Cent. Yeah. Uh just because the audience just isn't there. It's not an equal playing field for those two. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to think of a better comparison between people who just don't fuck. You know, it rem- starts may- energy. Maybe, maybe it's more, yeah. and this has been like the theme throughout this beef is Prince and Michael Jackson. 
okay. where they were peers, but there was times where they just didn't fuck with each other and you knew it. And they don't talk about each other, but when they get mentioned in the same rooms, they not like us. Right. And I ain't gonna fuck with him. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how public like their spew was between the two of them. Like you, you're right. Everybody didn't know. But like they, they never came together. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I do see, I don't think Drake is gonna stop trying to shoot at Kenny. Now I don't mean on music. Like I just mean on maybe an Instagram caption or like he might do something funny at a festival or Drake, he might do stop. something funny in the picture. I don't think he stops trying to bug him like, the way 50 tried to bug his job. Like subs for days. Yeah, subs for day, for years. I don't yeah. think Drake is just going to one day wake up and be like, you know what? I'm done. I don't see it. Especially with how he got done this time. Like I think that sits close with him. Ugh, I just feel like sometimes yeah. it's, isn't it sometimes better to like just kind of be like, okay, I am done. Even if you lost. That's the problem with hip hop. Isn't that not like though. you? I know. Like the, the competition, is competition, the ego. I know. Ego, but like, yeah, and pride. But for your own peace of mind, like, can't you just move on? <laughs> no? Okay. Do never it mind. Move on for the baddies, yo. <laughs> <laughs> move on for the baddies, yo. They deserve better than this, twin. Nah, they still gonna, the baddies still gonna get the music. The baddies don't care right yeah, now. Yeah, They're you're like right, though. still playing his music. Baddies don't care at all. You're right. 